Joe here. Just uh, wanted to do the introduction for, and I'm very excited about it, the next series of the Adversaries and Rivalry Buddy Build with my good friend Ben. Uh, we decided to do another one. Uh, it seemed like a lot of people enjoyed it. It was fun doing uh, alternating kits, so me doing one, him doing the different one, the Rivalry or the Adversary. And then switching around, uh, it also gave us both the ability to um, show off what was going to go wrong, what to look out for, how great the kit might be. Uh, in, in the case of the MIG, nothing. But um, uh, yeah, definitely really excited to do this. Uh, we bolted out of the Cold War and we decided to jump back into World War II where we're both really, really familiar with. And if you've watched our other series... Uh, Joe builds with Ben, Ben builds with Joe. That's usually what we kind of stuck to for the most part. Um, one reason I'm really excited about this is because well, I'm going to be doing the A6M30 Type 32. So the A6M3 Type 32 is a squared off wings right here. Okay. And. The uh, Type 22 is the, the rounded off wings. And I love the HAMP. This is called Nickname HAMP. Um, and one of the reasons I'm so excited about this is this was actually the Tamiya HAMP 148 scale was the very first build that Ben and I did together as a buddy series. So it's going to be really cool to see how I build this one up and compare it to that very first one. I was still new to building aircraft, honestly. So it'll be a neat little comparison between the two. And uh, it also helps that I love zeros. Oh, man, I, A6M3, the fives, the twos, whatever it may be, I love zeros. So they're, they're a fantastic plane uh, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you know, they had their ups and downs, of course, gives and takes. Zero armor, no self-sealing fuel tank, uh, but they were able to run circles uh, and maneuverability around just about everybody else. Not the fastest planes by any means. And uh, the square tips, you know, lessened a little bit of that as well. But <clears throat> still a very, very cool aircraft in my opinion. The video footage you saw at the beginning is the only surviving hamp there is out there. So that's really all you get. Um, I've used that footage before in the last buddy build, but... Uh, but it's kind of necessary because there's not too much hamp footage out there uh, that's historical. But let's crack this thing open, show you what's inside here. Do have some extras. I uh, just picked up, because of the Edward sale that was going on, I picked up the um, exhaust, which is pretty pointless for this one because it's just two circles. Uh, and I, but I think I got it for like two bucks. So I was like, yeah, why not? Um, our clear parts. And a nice little bag here. And there's been tons and tons and tons and tons of unboxing reviews when this Edward released the new tool of their Zero. And now they're doing different variations. So tons of uh, reviews out there if you all want to go check them out. You can see. And the plastic here. I don't even know if I can get it out because it's all Edwarding. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with it because I have to close it back up anyways. 
And then just a couple sprues. It's not like a major kit. I mean, the zero is nothing complicated. I may get a resin seat for this um, just because the seat in here, well, actually it actually looks pretty good. So I'm gonna keep that, here's the seat. It's already pre-drilled. I was just wondering if it was gonna be drilled out. So I think I'm just gonna keep everything box stock, honestly. No extras. Nice, cool, thick instruction manual. Gives you a little bit of history during about the A6M3. You know, 1942 is mass produced. Um, Put into service with some aircraft carriers and i won't get into too much of it but it's it's a really cool aircraft if you want to go check it out of course profi pack comes with some photo etch so that's cool and our decals i'm going to try and paint the rondos on this time i'm going to do every every effort everything in my best effort to get those painted on this time and of course it comes with a canopy mask as the profi pack which is awesome for me um but yeah, no need to spend money on extras for this kit, honestly. Um, I know Edward makes a ton of the resin extras for it, and I just don't understand. It's a good marketing ploy, but I mean, it's a brand new kit that's really, really detailed. So anyways, that's what we have. Now, you're probably wondering, well, Joe, what's going to be the rival to this? And I can tell you right now, go check out Ben's channel to see what the rival is going to be. It's going to be an aircraft that everyone loves. It's iconic. Um, I, won't, I, won't, I won't hold it in. It's going to be the Corsair the F4U-1 birdcage. So that should be a lot of fun. Um, I do believe it's going to be the Tamiya kit. Actually have it right here so this should be what Ben's probably gonna be doing it should be I hope because that's what we planned on but uh, yeah I'll let him show it off but that's gonna be the rival and I gotta tell you I'm really excited to do a Corsair I've said it before on one of my videos you can never have too many Corsairs either in your stash or built um, just a gorgeous aircraft so this one should be a lot of fun We'll go through all that when the time has come for me to do it. And in the meantime, to see how a professional does it, go check out Ben and watch him make that thing look amazing. And then come on back here and check me out on slopping together this zero and uh, putting in some paint and seeing what we can come up with. So again, really excited to do another series of Ben. I, I can't always say enough great things about him. You know, fantastic guy, uh, out of the world builder, and uh, just overall really cool dude. So go check out his channel. Go check out all of his past builds. Um, sci-fi Wednesdays, if you're into the sci-fi, and uh, getting kits lit up and all that good stuff. But until next time, everyone, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying safe. Take care.